Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Anya Elite here with Icon City News, and today we're doing a Palm Springs block update. Oh man, oh man! All right, it's been a week, and uh, but we're gonna keep it pushing. So you know, just to get things cleared up, first of all, if you want to get specific. Palm Springs News on IconCityNews.com. All you got to do is go to IconCityNews.com forward slash Palm Springs. There's an S at the end of Palm Springs. I feel like sometimes people be forgetting that or whatever. But anyway, you go to the site and you go ahead and you see, uh, you know, the articles and the events um, happening, um, you know, around Palm Springs and Coachella Valley, uh, which is the area that Palm Springs is located in. You guys already know that, but you know, I'm just, you know, warming up or whatnot. So, um, we're going to get into some of those upcoming events in a second, but let me start with, uh, giving a shout out to Miami, um, visual artist Carlos Betancourt, um, and the guys over there at Emerald and Sage. I see you, Robbie. Um, we uh, recently uh, had a um, a showing of the site-specific piece by Carlos Betancourt, Betancourt called um, Sinatra's Curtain. Uh, it was a really cool event. Icon City Org, uh, you know, took care of all the kind of production, red carpet, catering, uh, you know, all that kind of born-ish but um it was a really fun night the night was anything but boring carlos is like lively as like he's just like vibrant but you know most artists are so it was really a great time shout out to all the people who came out um the event was held at emerald and sage which is um palm springs newest uh dispensary cannabis dispensary and art lounge it's located across from uh two cans uh tiki Tiki Bar? Toucan's Tiki Bar. And um, right next door to the Palm Springs Hotel. Um, they'll be opening officially very soon. Keep it locked to IconCityNews.com uh, for, um, you know, the information on that, uh, that uh, date, okay? Uh, but yeah, like a lot of people ask me, moving on, a lot of people are like, you know, why are you in Palm Springs? And, uh... <laughs> It's not something that I think, like, you know, you know, it just organically happened. It wasn't, I never, like, you know, dreamed that I'd be living in a community like this. Um, but here I am. Uh, Rob and I moved out here during the pandemic, and, uh, you know, it's been nice. This has its ups and downs. It's definitely a, um, it was definitely a little bit of a culture shock. Um, you know, when I first got here, I don't think people really understood how much of a culture shock it was because I like, you know, am lively and friendly and, you know, I kind of lean into, um, adversity, but it was definitely, you know, a crazy situation. Um, but the number one people, number one question that people ask me is like, are there black people in Palm Springs? <sighs> yes, there are. Um, not a lot. But we're here of all different shades and ages and social economic backgrounds. Um, I think what actually makes it kind of especially fascinating is the fact that because there's not so many that, um, you know, you kind of have this opportunity to kind of like really zero in on people's, um, you know, backgrounds and stuff like that. So um, the first... Um, I guess the first group of people and the first organization that I kind of, um, you know, became affiliated with when I moved here was an organization called Brothers of the Desert. Uh, they um, support black gay men and their allies living in the Coachella Valley. And, um, you know, I just, I don't know. I don't know if I can say Palm Springs without giving them a shout out. So there's that. Okay. Also, I want to give a shout out to Anika Brown of Anika Brown's Designs. We had a real fun time um, a couple weeks ago um, at her Black History and uh, Cultural Exchange Um extravaganza darling um and um there we unveiled the um the marconi designed um rendition of um 
Sammy Davis Jr. and also announced um, our desires and push to um, get uh, Sammy Davis a star um, on the Palm Springs Walk of Fame. So a couple people have expressed interest in uh, doing that. And so I definitely uh, want you guys to sign up to join the committee. Um, we're not accepting funds just yet, um, but you can join the uh, steering committee or whatnot at um, sammydavisjr.org, okay? Um, but uh, back to Anika. So Anika is, made history, I think, maybe last year or the year before that as the first black woman to um, have a uh, to be featured in the um, a fashion show during El Paseo Fashion Week. El Paseo is kind of like, if you don't know, um, it's in a neighboring city to Palm Springs called Palm Desert. And it's uh, kind of like the Beverly Hills, if you will. Uh, so um, it's a very good look for her. And uh, this year, she she is doing a pop-up shop um, at Hotel Paseo. It's going down March 19th. Um, so if you're watching this the week it comes out, it's like this Sunday. Um, the I think, sh you know, the trunk show um, and, uh, and the pop-up is going to be like available starting at 11. But your boy... Icon City News is going to be there around 4, um, you know, doing the step and repeat, getting the content, taking the pictures, you know, just, you know, enhancing the vibe, like, you know, like I do, you know what I'm saying? So, if you're free, I definitely hope that you can make it out there. Also, um, just while we're on events, um, so... Diversity exists in Palm Springs, but um, like I just went on that whole thing that it's kind of like, um, you know, in bits and pieces. And a lot of times I think, and I'm just going to say it, a lot of times people get caught up in like the trap of tokenism, um, you know, and I get it, but, uh, you know, a lot of times we kind of miss each other. And when I'm talking about diversity, I'm not just talking about people of color um, or black people specifically, right? Like there's all the people of color. I mean, I think, you know, there are opportunities for like, you know, um, our cis gendered women community and our transgendered women community to kind of like, you know, um, mix it up as well. And so this group of this group of uh, community organizers, shout out to uh, Sean Carr and Will Dean uh, for getting uh, Rob and I involved, are starting a new social group called The Mix. Now, here's the deal. It's invite only, right? Now, I don't, I can't say who I can specifically invite and, and not. Like, it's very hard for me to do that. So what I'm going to do is if you go to IconCityNews.com forward slash Palm Springs, you're going to see the summer camp themed event. All right. Now, we all have, so it's invite only, right? And um, event organizers are limited to the number of people that they can invite. So I can only invite five people. Rob is graciously allowing me to also invite the five people that he's able to invite. So there's only 10 invites and I, you know, I don't know how many are going to be left by the time you see this, but if you want to check it out, like I said, it's a summer camp themed event. It's going to be happening at a new um, venue here in Palm Springs that opened up recently. I mean, you could probably guess what it is, but I don't want to tell you what it is because I don't want to be responsible for people crashing the party. However, <laughs> um, like I said, it's going to be summer camp themed, and uh, so it's going to, you know, feature, you know, like the friendship bracelets, the um, corn, the thing where you throw the sack, cornhole, cornhole, stuff like that. But it's going down in a nightclub, right? So that's like, I think pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so you know, I mean, because I don't know about you, but I wasn't able to drink at summer camp, so I don't know. Anyways, um. So those are the kind of two events that we got coming up. Um, I want to also give a shout out to... Who else I want to give a shout out to? Who gets the shout out? Oh, shout out to the Southern California Black Chamber of Commerce. Um, the Palm Springs chapter. Um, definitely check us out on iconcity.org or blackchamberofcommerce.org uh, for the latest uh, events that are happening there. And then um, I also want to give a shout out to Maya. Um, Maya runs a, um, a meetup for um, entrepreneurs of color. It goes down in Palm Desert, that city that I was telling you about earlier. 
And uh, you can also find information about that on IconCity.org as well. So a little different than IconCityNews.com, but it's more for like the, you know, business to business, you know, shout out to all my moguls out there. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do these specific, um, you know, block specific um, segments, you know, more so in the future. But if you uh, still want to catch my take on politics entertainment and all that stuff keep it locked to icon city news for the latest and inclusive urban culture because our news matters Hey y'all, it's me, Sam McCormick. This is your boy Cornell Cecil. I want you to keep it locked with Icon City Entertainment. The Funny Money Rock. It's an Icon City News. The Icon City Entertainment. For the latest inclusive urban entertainment. For the most inclusive urban entertainment. Yo, so here's the problem with the news. It's gotten too big. People are speaking past you. They're talking about stuff that you're not even interested in. And so that's what Icon City News is here for, inclusive current events. Because not only do our stories matter, but also we want to go ahead and put some context on everything that's going around. So I hope you join me for some fair and balanced, no pun intended, reporting at IconCityNews.com.